Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use C Sharp to read data from MySQL database. So first thing, we will connect to database named CSV underscore DB. Then we will access one table with name table underscore name. Okay. And for all this to happen, we need MySQL.NET connector driver. So go to MySQL website and from downloads, you can find this connector for .NET specific to your version. Okay, then click on download and install that installer and it will automatically add one entry to your Visual Studio. Now open Visual Studio, create new project choose console application then I'm going to use MySQL sharp as name of my project click on OK and this will create one C sharp console application for MySQL now next thing to do is add reference to your project about your MySQL database so go to solution explorer right click on it and then click on add reference okay and here you have to find mysql dot data reference okay here choose mysql mysql data and if you have any other such as data entity web you can choose that or you can ignore the rest of the others okay if you have web specific reference then you can use mysql.web otherwise just mysql.data is more than sufficient click on ok okay so just choose one okay so the next thing to do is to call for using mysql.data dot mysql client okay you only need declaration for this class after that we will create one string with name str equals to at the rate and inside that we will have declaration for server as localhost then database equals to csv underscore db then user id equals to demo then password equals to demo one two three four okay and finally quotes off and string closed next thing to do is call for mysql connection con equals to null then mysql data reader reader equals to null okay so this reader is for reading the data from database okay now inside try block i'm going to add the following code connection con equals to new mysql connection and here i'm going to pass this string variable that holds connection values okay and we are also going to choose a table name from query okay next thing we are going to open the connection okay then also going to write console dot write you can also choose right line if you want okay so let's choose right line and type in mysql db connected okay then next thing is to create one string with name cmd text and then make our query so select star 
from and then table underscore name okay then we have my SQL command you can choose from here cmd equals to new my SQL command and here we pass on CMD text and our connection so these two arguments will be passed to constructor next thing we will call for reader which will call for CMD execute reader so let's call for execute reader Okay. we will also then create one while loop which will have reader dot read so that it will read it through our list of tables and let's choose first column and print that column out so console dot write line reader dot get string and choose the first one if you want you can concatenate it and put entire database table on console but it won't look good so just print out one or two rows and if you have a lot of big data then better to print it with some text file or excel file now out of while loop we have our catch block okay but for that call for my SQL exception ER and here just call for console dot write and just print ERR okay then use finally block okay inside finally you can close your connection if connection is not closed or connection is not null then execute con dot close okay and finally out of all of this just pay attention to your console and pause the output okay so what we are going to do is we are going to first establish the connection then we will create one statement and pass that query into it and then query will execute and first column from our table will be printed on console and then connection will be closed in finally block and for all the process to be visible we are using console.read okay you can pause the video and go through this each line of code and after that let's just see how this works so click on start button Okay. let's just wait for console to appear okay, it will first connect with database and then we will start printing okay so if you have such a big column data then it's better to just print one or two because on console you won't be able to print out all those 12 or 4 columns okay so this is the data from our first column it is about names of people okay so first message of connection is here and then rest of the column data okay now you can pause the video and go through the code 